What if healing your gut and losing weight doesn't require fiber-filled smoothies or kombucha bombs, but instead steak or ground beef? I know that sounds wild, but let's talk about it. Because in this video, I'm going to show you how your gut microbiome, yes, those trillions of tiny bugs living in your belly, can either help you burn fat or store it. And why diets like keto and even carnivore, though often misunderstood, might just be the gut healing solution your body needs. And try to stay to the end of this video because near the end, I'll bust one of the biggest myths about gut health. A myth that's stopping people from healing their metabolism and reversing weight gain. When I became board certified in obesity medicine, I expected the usual, to be trained to treat obesity with medications, maybe procedures and even surgeries and yes, occasionally nutrition. But what I didn't expect was just how many other things impact your weight, like hormones, sleep, trauma, and yes, even your gut bacteria. I had never been taught to look at weight through the lens of the microbiome. In fact, before my deeper dive into functional medicine, I didn't even really understand what the microbiome was. And I certainly didn't think an all meat or a low carb diet could support gut health. But the research, and more importantly, what I saw in my patients, told a different story. Your microbiome is this massive ecosystem inside your gut. Think of it as a microscopic jungle filled with bacteria, fungi, viruses, all working together. When it's in balance, you burn fat easier. Your cravings calm down. Inflammation cools off. When it's out of balance, your metabolism slows. Your hormones go haywire and you start craving things you said you'd never touch again. Yes, some of these cravings are not emotional. They're microbial. Your bugs are literally pulling the strings. Now here's where things get a little interesting. Your gut bugs influence how many calories you absorb and how much fat you store. The two most talked about families are Firmicutes and Bacteroides. Firmicutes tend to be more common in people with obesity. They're the fat storing gang. Bacteroides are more common in lean individuals, the fat burning crew. Sorry about the gang analogy, but I grew up in a tough neighborhood in Chicago. Studies show the more Firmicutes you have, the more calories you extract from the same meal. So when two people with different bacteria eat the same food, one may store fat and the other doesn't. And the difference is simply that they have different gut bugs. So how exactly do these tiny bugs mess with your metabolism? Number one, short chain fatty acids. These compounds can either support or stall fat loss. The right gut bugs create small chain fatty acids that improve insulin sensitivity and reduce inflammation. The wrong ones, not so much. Number two, leaky gut. Some bacteria damage your gut lining, leading to inflammation. And inflammation is one of the fastest ways to halt fat burning. Number three, hormonal disruption. Gut bugs influence your hunger hormone. Ghrelin makes you hungry. Leptin tells you that you're full. Bad gut health disrupts both. So you're always hungry and rarely satisfied. Number four, neurochemical signals. These bugs can even manipulate your brain, telling you to go grab the bag of chips not the steak. And they don't whisper, they shout. Now here's where I may challenge what you've heard before. You've been told you have to eat lots of fiber to have a healthy gut. But here's the truth. A low carb or carnivore diet can be extremely gut healing. How? Because it starves the bad bugs that thrive on sugar and refined carbs. It lowers inflammation dramatically. It gives your gut a break from irritating plant compounds like lectins and oxalates, which for some people are causing more harm than good. And guess what? When people cut out these inflammatory foods and focus on meat, fat, and nutrient-dense whole foods, their bloating disappears, their bowel movements normalize, and yep, their cravings fade. Now let's talk carnivore. I know it's very controversial. People say, how can you be healthy with no fiber? But here's what I've seen. People with IBS, SIBO, bloating, skin issues, and mental fog, they go meat-based and suddenly they feel better. Why? Because carnivore reduces the gut burden. 
it lets the gut heal. And low carb and keto, they both reduce blood sugar and insulin, which dramatically shapes your microbiome in a positive way. You're literally creating a gut environment that supports weight loss. Because you can eat all the right things and still sabotage your microbiome if you're not careful. So in the future, always watch out for antibiotics, which wipe out your good bug, chronic stress, which changes your gut composition, poor sleep, which disrupts microbial rhythms. Fixing your gut isn't just about food. It's about the whole nest and rope acronym. So always consider all aspects of these two acronyms when you're thinking about your overall health. So here's my simple gut healing fat burning plan. Number one, ditch processed carbs and sugar. Starve the bad bugs. Number two, eat high quality animal foods. Things like beef, lamb, eggs, and organs if you're both. Number three, don't fear fat. Your gut bugs and hormones love it. Number four, sleep like it's your job. Your bugs heal while you sleep. Number five, move your body. Even a simple walk reshapes your gut flora. And if you want to slowly reintroduce fermented foods like sauerkraut or kefir, go for it, especially if your gut tolerates them. As a carnivore, I tend to stick with animal-based foods. Here's the big myth I promise. You can't have a healthy gut without fiber. That's like saying you can't be fit without running marathons. The truth, you can support a thriving microbiome with low carb or even zero carb diets, as long as you focus on quality, nutrient density, and reducing inflammation. Your gut doesn't want complexity, it actually wants consistency and calm. So let's wrap it up. Your gut isn't just a digestion machine, it's a metabolic control center. Diets like keto and carnivore can absolutely support and even restore gut health. And when your gut is happy, your weight, hormones, and cravings all start to align. So if this video changed the way you think about gut health and fat loss, smash that like button and subscribe. For more, no nonsense, root cause medicine straight from the metabolic health doc. And check out one of my other videos on the screen so you can learn how to be metabolically healthy and continue to build your foundational knowledge to help you achieve your true north. I'm Dr. Hampton and I'll see you in my next video.